In this episode of NCAP TV, we're going to talk about the NCAP polymer, its role, its function in good encapsulation cleaning. Stay tuned, I think you'll be interested. So let's talk about encapsulation polymer. How does a good end cap polymer affect the cleaning? Also, what about vacuuming? How are we going to get the end cap polymer out of the carpet? Those are some things we're going to consider today. So to start with, let's talk about soil. According to Shaw Carpets, their commercial group, latest information is that 85% of the soil and carpet is dry soil. Now wrap your head around that for a second. That means that 85% is dry soil, which leaves us with the minor component, 15% that we want to clean from the carpet. And that's what we want a good encapsulation polymer to be able to accomplish. But going back to the dry soil side of the equation, if we have 85% dry soil on the carpet, it's imperative that good vacuuming before cleaning occurs. So getting the carpet uh, free of the dry soil to the extent that we can, also using good walk-off entry mats before coming into the building to keep the dry soil out of the building. This will really help the overall appearance and keep the carpet in a good condition. Now, again, before cleaning, make sure that you do a thorough vacuuming. Dry soil plus water makes mud. We don't want mud. So the more dry soil we can get out of the carpet before cleaning, the better off we'll be. Now let's talk about the 15% side of the equation, the smaller component, that stuff that's sticking to the fiber that's made the carpet look dirty. That's what we're being called out to clean as carpet cleaners to remove that small component from basically a synthetic fiber typically so that doesn't take a lot of water we can do that with encapsulation and the role of the encapsulation polymer that's the vehicle that gets that sticky soil out of the carpet now when we think about the role of the polymer the polymer is actually going to draw soil into the polymer that's why it's very important that the encapsulation detergent has a very good polymer package with release it products We've really gone overboard building our products with good encapsulation polymer. They're bulked with a ton of polymer. If you'd like to see that for yourself, dry it down on a saucer or in a dish and see what it looks like the next day. You'll see that it's very flaky and chunky. It's got some real robust components to it. The polymer package that we use, in fact, we actually buy our polymer from two different sources. Our primary polymer that does the bulk of the heavy lifting comes from one vendor. But in addition to that primary polymer package, we also use some ancillary polymer items from a separate vendor. We refer to them more as boutique polymer products. That's what we are achieving with Release It. So going back to what we mentioned a moment ago, the polymer, the polymer that we have in release, it actually uh, has an affinity for oily type soils. So it will actually draw oily soils into the polymer. It will draw soil away from the carpet into the polymer and hold it in suspension. Holding the soil in suspension is important. We want to grab the soil. Now picture again, we've got carpet fiber, soil stuck to it. We scrub the carpet. The carpet is now damp. What was formerly attached to the fiber is now in the liquid. That liquid is a polymeric detergent. So in other words, we take everything that makes the product work as a detergent on the one side and balance it with our encapsulation polymer on the other side. And that's a tricky proposition because detergents are one thing. Detergents, in fact, are fairly inexpensive from a manufacturing standpoint. The polymer components, that's where the core of the cost of our products is because those products are not cheap. So blending those two things together and getting a good balance so that we've got good cleanability and good polymer package on the other side, that's what makes Release It work the way it does. Now, how do we get it out of the carpet? That's the question. How is that going to be recovered from the carpet? Sometimes carpet cleaners will ask us if they should come back and do the post vacuuming and certainly that's an option. However, if the building that you're servicing has a regular vacuuming program in place, routine vacuuming is what it's going to take and we've always stated all along that through the course of normal routine vacuuming, 
the encapsulated soil will continue to be recovered from the carpet. Another way that the encapsulated soil is recovered from the fiber is as you see illustrated here. Carpet fiber is flexible as we know and the brittle encapsulation polymer is very brittle. So as people stand on the carpet, walk on the carpet, use the carpet in day-to-day -day life, the flexible fiber will flex and the encapsulation polymer will shear away from the fiber. And as it flakes away from the fiber, it can then be recovered with normal routine vacuuming. So the need for post vacuuming is evident, but keep in mind that the soil will release also with foot traffic, so that combination works together. Another thing that we want to think about is that the polymer that we have and release it will actually resolubilize. What do we mean by that? Well, if you were to, for example, test this yourself, take some, release it, dry it in a dish, uh, you'll see the next day that it's very brittle. Now add some water, a few drops of water to that, smear it around with your finger, you'll find that it'll turn back to a liquid, let that dry again, and it will crystallize all over again. It will dry down to that brittle uh, polymer component once again. In other words, if there's anything left in the carpet, the next time it's cleaned, it will resolubilize, it will turn back to a liquid, it will crystallize all over again. Bottom line, there's no way to get a buildup because every time we clean the carpet, what was may have been left from the previous cleaning will not uh, just continue to load up, will actually dissolve back to a liquid and dry brittle once again. So hopefully this helps you understand the role of the end cap polymer. It's vital that we have a good encapsulation polymer to get the soil out of the carpet. Now, some so-called encapsulation products, uh, sometimes they're called film formers, or they might use a different uh, designation. If it doesn't have an encapsulation polymer package, if it doesn't have that robust polymer, there's really no way to capture the soil and get it out of the carpet during the routine of post vacuuming. That's why with Release It products, we really try to dial in the encapsulation polymer. That's our, our core. That's what makes Release It products stand out. So hopefully this will help you understand the role of the end cap polymer a little bit more clearly, as well as the need for good pre-vacuuming and the function that post-vacuuming plays in the recovery of soil after the carpet's been cleaned. Again, we're here to help you max your end cap. That's what we're all about here at Excellent Supply. Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, if you like what you saw, please hit uh, the like button below, share your comments, and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do that too. And until next time, thanks for watching NCAP TV.